Breaking news today in Nigeria. A fire broke out in a church not far from the Niger Delta. We are going to pass the news to Janice, who is there to report on the scene. That's right, Rob. It was just several hours ago when an old telephone pole fell onto the, a small pool of oil right outside the Living Faith Church, a widely used Christian worshiping center. The church was set aflame and was destroyed. The pollution from the oil, local oil companies has proven to be the cause of the oil found on the scene of the fire. Controversy has risen within the community from the president's promise to ensure the safety of the citizens and meet oil holding regulations. Fortunately, no one was in the church at the time. Authorities are on the scene with more details to come later. Thank you so much for helping us out building our church back. We are indebted to you. Well, I helped you out, you helped me out, right? Yes, we actually just made a website in your favor, and now many followers of the region have already voted in your favor. Great, polls are starting to show in my favor. Breaking news. Although Ni uh, Nalan helped the people of the Living Faith Church, he failed to help the other parts of Nigeria. His policies sparked corruption and fragmentation. Poverty rates increased an unprecedented rate. He failed to address the challenge of diversifying the economy and continued to invest only in the oil industry. When oil and petroleum prices dropped, Nigeria did not support itself and fell into a recession, a prime example of what benefits a few can hurt many.